How's it going guys? Baba Ganoush here. Uh, going to be doing a two night, three day hike on the Appalachian Trail starting in Harper's Ferry. Uh, just going to park and hike and hike out. I'll probably do uh, I'll probably do about 30, 32 to 36 miles depending on how I feel. So I figured I'd do a quick little gear review video, show you guys what I'm going to be bringing. Uh, give you guys some good ideas as well what you, set, what you could uh, bring for your own trips. So let's get started. Over here is my pack. It's going to be the North Face Banshee 50 liter. Uh, comes in at just over three pounds, I believe three pounds six ounces. Well, I really love this pack. Great lumbar support. Uh, I love the curved frame. Provides a lot of uh, you know air fluctuation between the, your back and the pack as well, while still maintaining the snug feel. So really great pack. Uh, lots of pocket space. Uh, just really really fantastic. I love the two hip pockets as well. Really great for to keep uh, OMPs on my person kind of stuff. Uh, so let's let's start with the gear over here. This is my sleeping bag. Uh, just a Giga Tent 40 degree, just your basic square bag. Um, nothing special. Nice and lightweight, one and a half pounds. Uh, this I actually took off the stuff sack and substituted it for. It's one of those lightweight sport backpacks that you see. So in case I need to go down to a stream and get water from my campsite, I can throw everything in here and get it all in one shot. Makes it nice and easy. Uh, coming over to my right is my tent, which I did a review video on before. It's the Alps Mountaineering Mystique 1.5. Got the tent and rain fly there, as well as uh, tent poles, tent stakes here. This is my footprint. Uh, I bought this basic footprint. Uh, it's It covers underneath perfectly, nice and lightweight. I also have a Mylar blanket underneath because it is supposed to get pretty cold Saturday night down to the mid-30s. So I have that there just in case. Um, here is my sleeping pad. It is the REI Flash. It's actually a full-fledged air mattress, but it only takes a couple minutes to blow up. Only one pound, 3.2 R rating, two and a half inches thick. As you can see, really nice and small and compact. Love it. Over here uh, is my clothes bag in my Sea to Summit, uh, Sea to Summit dry bag. As you can see, I like to keep everything nice and organized, nice and together. Um, in here, I will open this up later and do a review on what clothes I'm going to bring. Um, get that out of the way. Over here is my food bag. Uh, I have all my food in here right now, so I'm going to be taking some stuff out to put in pockets in my bag, as well as for OMP stuff. Um, yeah, enough just for three full days, basically. Um, I'm only going to be there two and a half days, but packing for three full days of food, give me some extra. Let's bring it over. Oh, oh, forgot to mention. I'm also, these extra hat and gloves, just in case. These are going to be in just a pocket in my bag. Again, Saturday night, it's supposed to get pretty cold. So I have these just in case. Over here, my water. I have my 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. That'll be primarily my cooking water, emergency water. Over here is my two liter Camelback. Uh, Going the hydration pounds in my bag. Uh, let's come down here real quick while I'm at it. Right here for cutting wood. Basic, simple DIY sawzall blade, uh, as well as I have a couple things of duct tape on there, so it's kind of multi-purpose. Cut up firewood, as well as hold my duct tape, just in case. Uh, and then for more water, my Sawyer Mini with 16-ounce squeeze bag. I already uh, back uh, backflowed it while I was here after my last weekend trip, so I'm not going to bring my syringe. I'm only going for a few days. I'm not going to need it. Uh, let's go up top here. This is simple toiletry first aid kit. Um, start over to the left. This is actually a DIY deodorant stick. I got this as an idea from somebody else. Awesome, small, lightweight. I only need it for a couple days anyway, so this is perfect. Bob Purell, of course. Uh, behind that, flip it over. Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothpaste, this the travel pack. And then, of course, is my first aid kit on the side here. Uh, just some Aleve, some Motrin, Aquaphor, which is great for cuts and burns, as well as I have some antiseptic ointment behind there, some larger bandages, some medium-sized bandages, and then what this black thing is is a foam wrap uh, that you see Athletics put underneath uh, the cloth uh, athletic tape. Uh, so this is really great in case I need to put a bandage on or something. I can wrap it in this instead of uh, some bring heavy, uh, heavier weight tape. Nice and lightweight, gets the job done. Uh, move back over to the right a little bit. This is self-explanatory. Bit of toilet paper as well as wet wipes. Um, 
go across here. This is utility bag number one. What I have in here is suntan lotion, bug spray, bear string, as well as uh, the wilderness soap for you know washing myself, washing washing up uh, dishes and everything, and washing myself. What I also have, and th what this is, is those cotton pads, uh, and I soaked it in the alcohol that people use for alcohol stoves. Again, Saturday night, supposed to be pretty cold. This will be used as a great fire starter. Nice and simple. Even a spark to it will it'll just light up. So I put that bag, grab the next one. This is my second utility bag. This will have my headlamp, tent light. I like to bring two different lights, uh, obvious reasons. Uh, I also have my compass down here, which also has a thermometer on it. Lighter, fire steel. In the back here, I have an extra string from my tent in case it gets super windy. And of course, some extra batteries. Uh, down here, I have. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, filming and taking lots of pictures with my phone. So I have the RAV Power 10,400 mAh battery pack. Uh, absolutely fantastic. We'll give my iPhone full 0 to 100% charge uh, about five times. And I'll be bringing my iPod with me as well. That, of course, doesn't, uh, doesn't need to take as long to charge, which is great. Power cable, headphones. Move over a little bit more. Mess kit, which is actually going to go in my food bag. It, it does fit in there. Um, nice and simple, as you can see. Pretty small. Lightweight. Uh, to the point. Also carries my fuel canister in there for my MSR pocket rocket. Uh, just cloth. Uh, washcloth, as well as measuring cup for water. And a little piece of sponge. And my spork is on the back here. Uh, MSR pocket rocket. Self-explanatory. Uh, what this is, now again, Saturday night, it's supposed to get pretty cold. Uh, they're talking mid to low 30s. So what this is, and I thought it was fantastic, this is only 3.5 ounces. It's a 16-hour emergency candle made out of beeswax, so it's not going to have all the chemicals and everything. Uh, quick tip, it has three wicks inside. You only want to use one wick at a time. That's how you're going to get the full 16 hours out of it. I used this last weekend because we had really cold temperatures. And I burned all three at the same time. It lasted maybe about a third of the 16 hours. Uh, it warmed my tent up, that's for sure. But I want it to last the full time while I'm going. What's great is I can just leave this in the vestibule of my tent. Combines with the Mylar blanket on top of my tent. Now it goes underneath my rain fly, but over top of my tent. So it just traps in all my body heat and everything. Combined with this, uh, if I get really cold temperatures, it's going to save my butt. And it's nice and lightweight. Small and compact. Come over here, rain jacket, nice and simple, nice and small. Uh, people are going to grovel over this. This is pack cover, Osprey pack cover. Um, I used to just keep one of those simple emergency ponchos, and I would just throw it over. But seeing as I like to keep things organized and everything, I thought I'd get two different ones. What this is, you're probably wondering what this is. This is one of those windshield reflectors that I cut up and I turned into my seat. So if I got to sit on a cold rock, wet log, Keep me warm, keep me dry. As well as what's great about this is that it unfolds a little bit larger, as you can see. So if it gets really cold, I can put this at the bottom of my sleeping bag where my feet are and keep my feet nice and warm. I did that last weekend with the cold temperatures and it worked absolutely phenomenally. My feet stayed warm all night long. Combined with the extra socks that I was wearing, it was a fantastic idea. So let's go over with what I'm going to be wearing that day. Um... Basic sock liners, quarter length. I love these sock liners. Uh, cool Mesh 2, you can see. It is actually is a double line sock liner. So the inner line will stay against your foot. The second lining will be the one that moves just a little bit. So it reduces friction, keeps your feet uh, dry as well. On top of that, with your hiking sock or your wool hiking sock, it'll keep your sock dry as well. So just in case you need to reuse the sock, and I have extra socks, of course, but just in case you need to reuse it, it'll keep this a little bit dry, so you can hang them up, dry them out much, much easier. Underneath that, of course, I just have a pair of uh, boxer shorts. Uh, so this is what I'm going to be wearing on the first day, uh, besides with my clothes bag, and I'll go through that later. Uh, this is actually a long sleeve Under Armour meant for warm weather, so it's meant to keep you cool and dry. Uh, this That will actually go underneath this shirt right here, which is a Brooks uh, long sleeve jogger shirt. So it has the thumb holes in it, so it keeps your sleeves extended. At, 
and it's a uh, moisture wicking, really breathable. Uh, I wore this last week, last Thursday up in New Jersey. It was beautiful, warm temperatures, sunny, and putting, even though I kept both of these on the entire time, I was cool and dry the entire day. It was great. Move over here, uh, Columbia, can't remember the exact brand, but Columbia um, convertible pants, not waterproof, but moisture wicking. Um, so I absolutely love these, these are fantastic. They're not too baggy, but not too tight as either. Uh, really great, and then this is just the belt. Over here, just your basic set of hiking boots, nothing special. They are waterproof, which is fantastic, so if I walk through mud, gotta step over streams, I don't have to worry about my feet getting soaking wet, because that's, especially with the cold temperatures, you do not want that to happen. Uh, REI trekking pole, traverse trekking pole. Basic, simple, gets the job done. Bought it in a pair. I only bring one at a time, but I have the extra one just in case this breaks. Uh, my maps for the weekends, uh, really, really great. I have the whole guidebook, but of course you don't want to bring that. So what I did was, just for the section that I'm doing, I copy and pasted the guidebook pages, highlighted uh, some different fact points out on there, and then I have my maps, and it's in lamination paper, so it'll stay nice and waterproof. Now, what's going to be OMP on my person the entire time? Uh, I have my... Uh, uh, bandana here, as well as my Citizen Echo Drive watch, which I absolutely love, Christmas present. Uh, my Zippo lighter here, which I have to fill with fluid before I go. Um, yeah, I, I have three sources of fire, and I always carry the Zippo with me because for obvious reasons. My whistle, obviously for bears. Um, over here, I have another bandana, which I'll primarily use, which I primarily use as a handkerchief, but it's always good to have an extra one just in case. Multi-tool by Gerber, uh, my buck folding knife, I love this knife, super sharp, sharp, compact, um, lightweight, uh, sunglasses as well, supposed to be bright and sunny all weekend, now this is cool, this is my iPod, I like playing music while I hike, my iPod, this is a little tiny speaker dock on the bottom, it actually gets pretty loud, and then this is the waterproof case that I'll be carrying it in. I'll strap it to the outside of my pack, play music all day, it'll keep bears away, as well as give me some entertainment. Um, so as you can see, this is everything that I'm going to be bringing. Uh, everything comes to under 30 pounds. It's between 28, 28 and 30 pounds, depending on snacks, clothes, um, some last minute items, so on and so forth. But this is everything. Um, really great, especially because I'm carrying extra clothes because it's supposed to get cold. The fact that I'm under 30 pounds lets you know how light my uh, spring and summer gear is going to be during warm weather. Um, and of course, with the pack here, the fact that it keeps every all the weight really great on your hips, it really, really reduces uh, the amount of weight that you actually feel. So this is what I'll be bringing. Uh, leave any comments, any thoughts in the section below would be greatly appreciated. Any any ideas that you have me have for me as well. Um, but otherwise, this is what I'm going to be bringing. So let me break down my clothes and my food, and I'll put that in another video for you guys as well. So, Wish me luck this weekend, guys. It's supposed to be beautiful, but it's supposed to get kind of cold at night. Baba Ganoush out. All right, guys. Baba Ganoush here again. I uh, wanted to show you what clothes that I bring with me. Um, show you the basic package that I bring on all hikes, as well as some of the extra items that I bring, you know, cold weather, so on and so forth, so you can get an idea of what you yourself could bring. Now this is what's going to go in my dry, my seated summit dry bag this weekend. Yes, all of this fits in there. Um, let's start at the top. What's going to be stuffed at the bottom? This is my North Face, North Face jacket. It's awesome. Um, bought this on clearance at REI. Normally like a hundred and fifty dollar jacket, I got for ninety bucks. Um, love this jacket. Super warm. Awesome. Uh, let's come down this way a little bit. This is extra pair, heavy duty, uh, smart wool socks. This is for while I'm at camp at night. Uh, yeah, it's always nice to put on a, a fresh pair of socks. Uh, this will be the longer sock liner that I'll wear with it. Get my feet dry, get them cool. Let's put an extra layer. Again, it's supposed to be cold this weekend, so I'm bringing a couple extra items, which I will normally leave uh, to the side spring and summer weather when it's super warm. So you can get an idea of how much weight I'll actually be able to drop down once it gets warmer. Here is second pair of liner and socks. Uh, I have the same exact pair, which is going to be which I'm going to be wearing the first day. 
So I'm only going to bring two pairs. Um, I'll be fine. This is also kind of a hiking sock. So third day, whatever the case may be, if I need to slip into this, I can do that along with these. These will pr primarily be at camp, so they'll be nice and fresh. I won't be sweat sweating through them. Oh, extra pair of box shorts, again, the synthetic kind. Uh, let's go over here, which is what I'll be wearing uh, warm weather as well as at camp. So I have, these are the warm, uh, cold weather compression Under Armour pants, uh, the full length. These, uh, I'll sometimes wear these if it's just 50 or 60 degrees. Uh, just really, really great. And I always wear them when it's raining. The reason being is my Columbia pants, they're not waterproof, but they're moisture wicking. These will keep my legs dry as well as warm. Come up top, I have the Cold Gear Under Armour Compression Long Sleeve Shirt. Primarily be used for at camp or if it's going to be cold one of the days. Um, I, I obviously love the Under Armour stuff. Really, really great. Durable. Lightweight. Um, odor, <laughs> kind of odor resistant. Uh, keeps you dry. So on and so forth. Uh, let's come on down here. These are camp pants as I like to call them. They're just the uh, what is it? polyester and cotton long john pants that people use for skiing. Uh, you know. They're just nice camp pants, keep you warm. Uh, and then on top here, it's supposed to be, again, super cold Saturday night. So this is my balaclava. I love this thing because it has the thin skull on top, but on the bottom, it has like the neck warmer and face warmer. I love this thing. I use it for skiing as well. Super lightweight, super durable. I've had this for years. Uh, let me just review real quick one more time. This is what I wear on my person regardless of what season. This is spring, summer, winter, you name it. This is always my base my base package. Uh, again, my Columbia convertible moisture wicking pants, uh, my Brooks long sleeve uh, moisture wicking and super cool uh, joggers jacket, and then the Under Armour gold long sleeve shirt meant for warm weather, so it keeps you cool, keeps you dry. These two combined are absolutely fantastic, even in super warm weather. And, like you saw before, the sock and sock liner combination, and a pair of boxer shorts. So this is what I'm going to be wearing uh, when I start my hike. This is my base package. These are clothes which I'll be able to take out or add extra stuff in, and that's going to go in my Sea to Summit dry bag. Give you a basic idea of what clothes that I bring for four seasons. Um, now, if it's going to be a super cold, I might take out the jacket and upgrade to actually a full winter jacket that I have, uh, one of the three-piece jackets with the, the, the fleece uh, the fleece liner that unzips and everything. So that might get substituted out for super cold weather. But for now, because it's going to be 40s, 50s, 60s, possibly 70s this weekend, I'll bring that because it keeps me warm and it, it's just a great jacket, nice and lightweight. So yeah, this is what I'll be bringing with me uh, for clothes this weekend. Let me open up my food bag, show you what I got, show you how I pack everything as well, make everything nice and simple, uh, and then go from there. Baba Ganoush out. Hey guys, Baba Ganoush coming at you. I uh, wanted to show you what food that I will be bringing this weekend for two night, three day trip on the Appalachian Trail. Um, just under five pounds of food, doesn't look like a whole lot, but for what I have calorie protein wise per pound of food that I have, it is absolutely fantastic. So this all fits in my dry bag, it'll also double as my bear bag, really nice and convenient. So let me start on the left here, show you what I'll be bringing for what days, uh, as well as how I work out packaging things as well, give you some ideas. This, because I plan on driving out early tomorrow morning, early Saturday morning to Harbor Ferry, I'm going to grab breakfast on the way. This will be my lunch, two packs of Easy Mac, I believe it's like 200 and 200 some odd calories per package, so I'm bringing two of them, so I'll have over 400 calories for lunch. Awesome. This will go as my snack between lunch and dinner. Up top here is the clip Bar I'm going to keep in my pocket for between breakfast and lunch. So I'll just be a little snack. These pack 230 calories per bar. Awesome. Next, this is going to be my Sunday morning breakfast, bis biscuits and gravy, 310 calories. Um, really nice and nice and convenient. I figured let me go easy Sunday So I just have to boil water dump it in done don't have to worry about cleanup for lunch Lunch down here again. I have two packets of easy Mac and a cliff bar as a snack uh, And that'll be great for lunch and I, of course I can mix and match these um, 
Easy Mac packets. If I want to decide to do like the rice dinner that I have and mix and match, I can do that. But for right now, I'm going to keep everything nice and clean, nice and organized so I know exactly where it is. Uh, let's go over here. This is going to be Monday morning. I plan on hiking out back to my car Monday morning. I'm just going to park, hike in, hike out. But I'm going to be doing 16 miles on Monday. So I'm going to pack a little bit of extra food, keep it all into one. Breakfast, two packages of oatmeal. Um, Cliff Bar will be basically trail snack or will be extra on top of breakfast. I haven't decided yet, but I'll load, but that's in there. And then again, two more packs of Easy Mac uh, lunch. Hey, what, what can I say? Easy Mac. It's delicious and it gives me all the nutrition I need for a good hike. Up top here, this is going to be primarily the rice dinners or if I want to mix and match uh, lunch out. Up here is teriyaki noodles, 270 calories. This is, I believe, chicken, chicken flavored rice, whatever it is, I can't even remember. Uh, 240 calories, and then I have some olive oil up top to add to these, add a little extra. Over here, this is just some extra. Um, two extra packets of oatmeal, two extra clip bars. This will be just extra emergency food, basically, in case I need it. Um, in case I get super hungry before I want to go to bed. Here's just a quick extra snack, easy to make up, nice and easy to clean up as well. Over here, this will just be extra snacks. I have three Cliff Bars and a whole bag full of um, trail mix, peanuts, raisins, um, as well as some M&Ms, peanut M&Ms. Delicious. Awesome. Extra calories, extra snacks. And then up top here, I'm going to have two packets of coffee. What can I say? I like my coffee in the morning. Uh, sweetener and then some creamer as well. Uh, I have protein powder mix. And then I have some Airborne. Now these two I'm going to talk about real quick. I have a liver disorder, which is a metabolic disease called glycogen storage disease. So as you can see, the items that I'm bringing are low in sugar, high in protein, high in calories. The reason being is because my liver disorder, I cannot metabolize sugar. So I have to substitute it with the extra protein, extra carbs, extra calories, uh, because I will digest and metabolize those things faster than your average person. So I keep a little extra protein powder with me just to be in case. Um, that gives me some extra oomph, basically, which I'll basically metabolize a lot quicker. Airborne, I love this stuff. Uh, again, a lot of people will bring the Gatorade packets to give themselves the good uh, electrolytes at the end of the day. Um, obviously, because I can't have the sugar, the Airborne tablets are great for that. It has almost twice the amount of sodium in it, as well as it's packed full of vitamins, minerals, you name it. So it's going to give your immune system a really good boost. As well as that, it's about half the weight as bringing those uh, those uh, packets of protein powder. Um, just drop one of the tablets into a little cup of water. It uh, dissolves quickly in just a couple minutes, and it's delicious as well. Garbage bag, and that's going to be my Sea to Summit bag, which I'll carry all my food and my mess kit in as well, and that'll be my bear bag. Nice and sleek, nice and simple. That's the way I like to keep it. So as you can see, just under five pounds of food for two nights and three full days, and probably a little bit of extra, but always good to get some extra calories in you. So if you have any comments, any tips, any questions for me as to food, why I bring it, what I'm bringing, so on and so forth, feel, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, wish me luck. Baba Ganoush out.